Hello, this is Mark Sabatella from Outside Shore Music, home of Mastery MuseScore. In this week's tip, I'm going to talk about adding blocks of text to your score. And, well, specifically, as an educator, I'm creating all sorts of materials where I might want some explanation before the actual music starts or the first exercise or example of what I'm trying to teach. But there's any number of other reasons you might want a big block of text in your score. Uh, and so I want to show you how we can do this. What we're going to use are... Uh, text frames. There's a number of ways of doing things, but I'm going to show you text frames. So I'm going to select the first measure of the score and ask MuseScore to, MuseScore to insert a text frame in front of it. If I come over to the layout palette, then we will see there is the uh, text frame element here, insert text frame. So if I click that, it's going to insert a text frame here. A text frame is, as the name implies, a place where you can add text. So if I double click the frame, I can start typing some text. Text line, whoa, that's not the word line. Line one, line two, line three, etc. You can enter multiple lines of text in this frame. You can also position that text within the frame. You know, you can just drag it uh, if you're into dragging, or you can come over to the properties panel and under appearance, you'll see the settings for the offset. So I could, for instance, reset the offset, but uh, maybe set the set it to be indented, say by uh, five staff spaces worth or, or whatever. So that's how you can kind of position the text within the frame. Now, the next thing you might notice is that that frame is way too far away from the title frame, right? The title frame has all this space underneath it, uh, between it and the text frame. That is because the title frame, uh, the defaults are to have seven spaces above and below each frame, which is often what you want. Like, it's great that this text frame has seven spaces below it, seven staff spaces below it. That's a good amount uh, to kind of space it out from the music. But we don't need seven spaces above it and seven spaces below the other frame. So what I'm going to do is go back to selecting the frame itself instead of the text, and then you'll notice that if I, uh, let me close up that appearance section and do that again, you'll see these gap settings. That controls how much of a gap are, is between these frames. Well, if I set this gap above, instead of seven staff spaces, set it to zero, we'll see, well, now there is less space. Now, you might be wondering, why isn't it zero space? Um, space between it. Uh, that's because there's also seven staff spaces below the title frame. If I select that and then set its gap below to zero, then now the frames actually touch, should you want that. So there's a lot of flexibility in how you format these frames and how you position things within them. The text itself, you can also change the font size, etc., within the properties uh, panel. So there's a lot of flexibility in how you can work with blocks of text in MuseScore. This really just scratches the surface of it.